guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing some latte art training at home. So maybe you've just bought an espresso machine and you wanna practice some latte art, but you don't wanna waste uh, lots of milk or lots of good coffee. So this is a cool way that you can practice at home without using those things. So we're basically just gonna be making a coffee with some instant coffee and some either hand soap or washing up liquid, um, either or, and yeah, it sounds really odd, but it's a really cool way to practice. Um, and it means that you can kind of practice at home and get your latte art skills dialed in. So let's go and check out what we're gonna use. Okay, so let's have a look at what we will need to practice some latte art at home. So we're gonna need some instant coffee. Any instant coffee will do. Maybe you've got some sat in your cupboard or any cheap instant coffee will be fine. We're gonna be using some hand soap today, but you can use washing up liquid if you want. There's not really much of a difference between the two. Uh, we're gonna need some cold water, uh, a latte art pitcher, a cup. Okay, so we're gonna get a cup and we're gonna just put in one teaspoon of instant coffee. And then I'm just gonna use hot water from my coffee machine to sort of dilute it and mix it in a little bit. So I haven't put much water in and I'm just gonna use the whisk to just sort of mix it up a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to put our water and our uh, hand soap in our milk pitcher. So I've only, I'm only using like a small kind of flat white size cup. So I'm going to fill my water just below the spout. Depending on what cup size um, you're using, you'll obviously want to use more water or less water. But yeah, just up to the spout there. And then I'm only going to put in like one pump of hand soap and you wanna add your water before your soap, otherwise it will make it bubble. I found that when I was practicing. So next thing to do is to steam this. Okay, so to steam your liquid, you want to put your steam wand into the milk pitcher. You want it resting just against the spout um, and you want to start steaming and then your need to sort of lift the steam wand out slightly so it's probably about a centimeter in and then what that will do is start creating a whirlpool for you hopefully and that's good uh, but you don't want to see any sort of big bubbles or anything like that if you do then you're letting too much air into your milk so you need to just lower your steam wand a little bit keep going until it feels hot enough uh, just sort of too hot to touch basically and then you are ready to pour okay so we have our Okay, so we have our fake milk steamed and you want it to look like wet paint. So uh, ideally no bubbles in it. It might be a bit difficult for your first few attempts just to not get a lot of bubbles in, but keep practicing and you'll get there. And then we're just gonna practice our pouring. Okay, so I've just poured my coffee using this method. Uh, it's a really cool way to practice latte at home. You won't get as much detail as you would of proper milk, obviously, but I think it's a really cool way to see what's happening with your milk. You wanna get that whirlpool going on. A uh, good way to learn how to texture your milk correctly and then gives you an idea of pouring properly as well. So it's a good way to practice your basic techniques for latte art. And then once you've got those sort of got those good you can uh, move on to making them in your proper coffees to drink but yeah overall really impressed with it um yeah I, now i'm gonna go make a real coffee to drink <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that guys and hopefully it's helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Have you tried this? Has it been helpful? Are you getting there with your latte art now? Uh, yeah, really, really interesting method, um, but I think I'm gonna go and make a, a proper coffee to drink now. Uh, so until next time, I will see you then.